My name is Curtis Cavett. I've been going to LifePoint for, I guess, about four years now or so. Um, I was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, raised, um, had a fairly normal childhood, I guess, raised by a mom who loved God and a dad who didn't. Um, so I was brought up in the church, thankfully. Uh, my mom took me just about every Sunday growing up. And uh, then whenever I was eight, my uh, mom and dad got divorced because, as my mom put it, she didn't like my dad's girlfriends. And by the time I was 12, uh, he had disappeared because he thought that drugs were more important than his family was. I guess by the time I was about 16 is whenever I started my prodigal years. Um, just kind of started doing life on my own terms, put God on the back burner, and it didn't take too long. Um, I was 20 whenever I had the unfortunate experience of accompanying some of my uh, poor friend choices to jail on some felony charges. Um, and it was at that point that I had a few weeks to just sit there in relative quiet <laughs> and, uh, and think about you know, where I was and where I wanted to be and, and how life wasn't going the way that I had wanted it to or had planned um, and kind of took that opportunity or that uh, lump upside the head that God gave me to, to recommit my life to Jesus at that point. Um, but whenever I got out on bail, the DA also suggested that I commit my life to the military at the same time. Uh, so that's, that's what I did and just stayed really busy for the next about 10 years working on goals that I had for myself, whether it was education or work or family, just, you know, life goals. And it was really easy at that point to, you know, just tell myself, you know, oh, I'm too busy. I'll focus on my relationship with God later. Um, after I was no longer as busy and couldn't justify to myself the excuse of I'm too busy to um, push off having a deeper relationship with God, um, I started really looking into, all right, well, what, what do I need to do now? And the most obvious thing was, since we had moved back to Tennessee, we didn't really have a community. Um, and so that was the first thing that we started doing. We started coming to LifePoint more regularly. We started getting involved in groups. My wife and I, uh, I you know, went to groups with her and then also started getting involved in GRIT. But at the same time, I feel like I was holding myself back to an extent, basically white knuckling it with some prayers to God for strength. Um, but really doing it all on my own, kind of in isolation, even though I had built up this community, I was still keeping them at arm's length. Um, and earlier this year, God hit me upside the head again. I had... Um, essentially a, a panic attack. I had not slept for about a month. I, I think I had gotten maybe a max of four hours of sleep in a given night over the course of a month. Um, my chest was getting tight. My whole body started shaking one morning and like that was that was it. Like obviously something needed to change still. Um, and I had this awesome new community that I could reach out to. So that's exactly what I did. I started calling, you know, some people that I trusted, both in grit and then some people, you know, outside of the church. One of the guys that I trusted and called at that point was my father-in-law. And one of the things that he told me was, you know, you might be a tough cookie, but you're still just a cookie and you're gonna crumble, you know, without a support system, just like anybody else is going to. Um, and it was, really that conversation I think that drove home the idea that you can't follow Jesus in isolation. I've got to let people into my life and I have to be there when people are gracious enough to let me into their life. I think that actually goes back to you know all the way to the Garden of Eden. We were created to be God's representatives and how can we represent God to others if we're not in a real relationship with them. And then the flip side too, how can other people represent God and Jesus to us if we don't let them close to us? Community is great, but I had to actually let them in. And it wasn't until I let them in that God used the people around me and Jesus used the people around me 
to really drive that transformation and that healing. Um, not that it's finished, but I've seen a lot more progress over the past year than I did in the previous years. And all of that is just due to you know, Jesus working through the relationships that I you know, was able to let in. I'm Curtis Cabot, and I'm a man of grid.